This is Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last, which you can find at GuyMcPherson.com. In this short video, I'm going to provide an overview of my climate change summary, formerly titled Climate Change Summary and Update. It's a long essay that I stopped updating on the 2nd of August, 2016. It begins thusly. The great dying wiped out at least 90% of the species on Earth due to an abrupt rise in global average temperature about 252 million years ago. The vast majority of complex life became extinct. Based on information from the most conservative sources available, Earth is headed for a similar or higher global average temperature in the very near future. The recent and near future rises in temperature are occurring and will occur at least in order of magnitude faster than the worst of all prior mass extinction events. Habitat for human animals is disappearing throughout the world and abrupt climate change has barely begun. In the near future, habitat for Homo sapiens will be gone. Shortly thereafter, all humans will die. Bear in mind that I stopped updating this essay August 2nd, 2016, so we are not now at the beginning of a mass extinction event. We are well into it. I quote American actress Lily Tomlin, as she is credited with the expression, quote, no matter how cynical you become, it's never enough to keep up, end quote. With respect to climate science, my own efforts to stay, ab stay abreast are blown away every week by new data, models, and assessments. It seems no matter how dire the situation becomes, it only gets worse when I check the latest reports. I go on. Margaret Becker, former UK Foreign Secretary, said in September of 2008 on BBC America Television with respect to climate change, quote, Will it harm our children? <clears throat> Will it harm our grandchildren? Actually, it's a problem for us today. End quote. As Haldor Thorgerson, a senior director at the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, said on September 17, 2013, quote, we are failing as an international community. We are not on track, end quote. These are the people who know about our ongoing race to disaster. Tomlin's line is never more germane than when thinking about the pursuit of a buck at the expense of all life on Earth. The essay can goes on to point out that the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change concludes geoengineering is necessary to stop climate change. This, remember, a few years ago. The United States National Academy of Sciences indicates that geoengineering is unlikely to help improve the situation. That was on February 10th, 2015, and a European body of similar stature reached the same conclusion on July 16th, 2015. Never mind all that, I go on. Future temperatures likely will be at the higher end of the projected range because the forecasts are all too conservative and also because climate negotiations won't avert catastrophe. And that can be more obvious today than it was way back then. I go on in this essay to describe six and a half dozen self-reinforcing feedback loops from the peer-reviewed literature at various temporal scales. All of them are irreversible, and it only takes one to conclude that climate change is irreversible. As finally, the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, concluded in September of 2019 with a special report on the cryosphere. I conclude the essay with these words. The global police state has arrived, and it's accompanied by subtle changes in Earth's rotation that result from the melting of glaciers and ice sheets. That is, climate change is causing Earth's poles to shift. This based on a paper from New Scientist titled, Earth's Poles Are Shifting Because of Climate Change. That paper was published December 13, 2013. We've known a lot about climate change. We've known a lot about abrupt climate change. We've known a lot about extinction of animals, including human animals, in the near future, and also many species of humans that have already gone extinct. We've known about these things for a very long time. Very few people seem interested in talking about these matters now, though, 
which I think is tragic.